Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to sew really easy drapes. To sew your curtain panels, cut fabric that's 5 inches longer and 2 inches wider than the des desired finished size of your curtain panel. You can trim off those raw edges. Next you're going to fold the sides over half an inch and press them with an iron. And then fold those sides over another half an inch and press. Do this for both sides of your curtain panel. Now off to the sewing machine and you're going to hem the sides with your sewing machine. I'm just using a longer stitch, so on my sewing machine this is a number 4 stitch. And stitch as close to the folded as edge as you can to get a nice professional look on your seam. Now fold the top of your curtain panel over a half an inch and press it with your iron. Fold that top over two inches and press. So this is going to create a nice generous hem on the top and the bottom of your curtain panel that's going to act as a rod pocket if you'd like it to or just a nice fat looking finished hem. Now off to the sewing machine and stitch away. Again, I like to use a longer stitch on my larger uh, decor projects and stitch as close to the folded edge as you can and repeat this with the bottom of your panel. To hang your drape as a regular pocket casing drape, simply thread a curtain rod through that large top hem. This creates a more casual look to your drape, so this is great in like a country setting or just something a little more casual. Now to hang with drapery rings, simply slide some drapery rings onto your curtain rod and I'll leave a link below or in my blog post on where you can buy these rings. There's usually about seven of these drapery rings per panel. So grab your panel and clip each side of it to the outer rings. I usually leave about a half inch on either side of my panel to hang. Then find the center of your panel and clip that to the center ring. And then measure where to clip your remaining rings to the panel to make those folds even. So obviously when you're working with a stripe or a plaid fabric, it's a little bit easier to calculate where um, you're going to place your curtain rings. But of course you could just use a measuring tape to calculate that. Then you're going to adjust the folds of your drapes to make them nice and even. And you can also finger press or hand press those folds to make them lie the way that you'd like them to. And just kind of adjust and fluff your drape and it is done. Your simple drapes are all finished and ready to go. These ones are my Christmas drapes and I can't wait to see how they look with my Christmas decor this year. For more tutorials, please visit the DIYMommy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.